This is 8.2a of algebra. So now we're going to look at multiplying a monomial with a trinomial. Okay, so we've got a problem here. We're going to distribute in that monomial out front. Okay, so it's going to turn into 5n times 3n cubed plus 5n times the negative n squared plus 5n times 8. So each of these little problems here you have done before. Okay, now it's just a matter of them being all in one problem together. So 5 times 3 is 15. And we've got n to the 1 times n to the 3rd, so that gives us n to the 4th, right? When we're multiplying, we add exponents. Plus, now our next one, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And we've got n to the 1st times n squared, so that's n to the 3rd. Plus, 5 times 8 is 40, so that's 40n. The last thing I can do is this plus a negative can just simply turn into a minus sign. So minus 5n cubed plus 40n. And there you go. So greatest common factor, that's when we find what's the biggest thing that can go into it. So if you have like two numbers, you see what's the biggest number that we can get to go into there. So when we're working with a polynomial, like this one here, easiest way to do it is to break down each of the numbers out front into their prime factorization. So you're going to break it down until we get to prime numbers multiplying together. So 3 is already a prime number, so that's just going to stay out front. And I'm going to write the 4x's minus, well, 9 is the same thing as 3 times 3. And I've got 2x's. Minus, well, maybe you say 12 is 2 times 6. But we can simplify 6. 6 is just 2 times 3. So this turns into 2 times 2 times 3 with just an x. And then you want to go through and say, what can I take from each of those? Well, I can take a 3 from each of those. And I can take 1x from each of those. So you're only allowed to take um, something if you can take it from all spots, okay? So then my GCF is whatever I took from each term. So I ended up taking a 3 and an x from each term. So my GCF was 3x. Let's say your GCF, you took two 2s and an x. So your GCF then would be 2 times 2 times x, which is just 4x. And there's your homework.